Okay, here's the deal. For those of you who are familiar with it, um, I would like to put what you see before you, Windows 7, the release candidate, on to my Vio UX 280p. Now, let's go over the specs in, in comparison to the system requirements. 1 gigahertz processor, 32 or 64 bit, got that. 1 gig of main memory, got that. In fact, I have exactly a gig. Um, I cannot upgrade the RAM. It is soldered in permanently. Um, uh, 16 gigs of available disk space. I have a total 40 gigabyte hard drive. And finally, support for DX9 graphics. Now, this is where we begin the story. My system was stamped Vista capable. Okay. So I put Vista on it. I was entitled for it to a free upgrade to Windows Vista Business, and that saved $300, so I figured, what the heck? The only catch was I had to use it with that particular system, and I was so excited to try Vista at the time. This was before I found out that it was absolute junk. Um, now, obviously, I'm running Windows 7 on my MacBook, but it's a completely different experience if you're running it on your MacBook versus your handheld PC. This PC is, well, I can't describe it. I've got a video review of this, uh, UX to, Sony Bio UX 280p review or something like that. Look it up on my channel, and that'll tell you about this PC. Now, I put Vista on it. Okay, fine. I had to get my drivers back. Okay, fine. I did manage to get the audio back. Um, it was a bit of a process because I didn't know where to begin. Um, so, I got my audio back, and then I put on JAWS just to see how Vista would handle it, and this was the version that was supposed to be uh, Vista-capable, okay? This was supposed to be JAWS version 8. This was back in 2005, 2006, sometime in 2006. So, I put JAWS on it, and... And for those of you who do not know, JAWS is a screen reader. It basically makes the computer talk to me because of my uh, seeing problems. That can help me out sometimes. So anyway, I put JAWS on it. And I restart just to make sure that it doesn't come up when I restart the system. Okay? So when I restart it, it crashed. And it didn't just crash the program. It crashed the whole computer. In fact, it crashed to the point where the computer, it, it kept saying, you know, boot up you know, insert a recovery disk. The problem was, it wasn't, it was not recognizing my external optical burner. Now understand, again, like I said, we had Vista on here now, so it wasn't recognizing my burner. And as such, I had to take it to Sony and have them reformat it. And the, ver and the words that the guy told to me, said to me, excuse me, were, stay away from Vista. Now, it's been three years since that happened. Three years, okay? And I'm considering putting Windows 7 on my handheld PC, my Vio UX. Now, here are the steps that I've taken so far. I've cataloged the drivers that I'm going to need to put back on. Um, I don't need the Zoom utility because Windows 7 has a magnifier, as you've clearly seen and you can see right now. Um, so, I've got the drivers in hand. I've got them on, on a sheet of paper, and I can just get them from Sony's website, I think. Uh, Vista drivers uh, would work under 7. So I've got the drivers. Um, the next step I'm going to do is to create a recovery disk of XP. Now the recovery disk, I've never done this before, so if somebody could enlighten me as to exactly what is backed up and what state, basically would I get a factory reinstall or what? Um, and so I've got the drivers, I've got the backup CD, and last but not least, I've got the Windows 7 RC1 installer. The only thing I would have to do would be to go through the install process again, just to the point where I would get a key, and I would be able to activate Windows 7 on my handheld. The final question I have for you is, given this chain of events, should I risk it? What do you think? Comments are welcome. Um, I appreciate your input. Thank you for helping, and have a nice day.
as soon as I figure out, as soon as I turn the darn thing off. Oh, duh. Sorry, I unplugged my mouse. Okay, now have a nice day.